Hello everyone, this is Lucas again from People Can Code and in this video I'm going to show you how to create SSH key and connect your machine with remote repositories such as Bitbucket or GitHub. Alright, so first, what is SSH key and why do we need it? Well, think about what do you want to do if you work in a team or you want to save your repository somewhere for backup. Well, you need to connect to some sort of a, well, cloud uh, service where you can store your um, your repository. We call that remote. So that's going to be our remote repository. So how do you make your machine, your computer, connect to that remote repository in a secure way? Well, you probably want some sort of encryption, some sort of password. So we can try to type our password each time, <coughs> which may or may not be very secure. Or we can create um, a very complex uh, and more static password on our computer and copy the same key onto another computer. So in our case, it's going to be a Bitbucket account. So this key, this key will allow those two computers to communicate, communicate securely, hopefully, uh, and we don't have to type or log in every single time. So let's go ahead and create that key and then uh, create a repository on, uh, on Bitbucket. So on Mac, this is fairly simple. Uh, all we're going to do is to use one command pretty much, or two commands. On Linux, it's a little bit more complex. Um, and on Windows, yet it may not be very complex, but it may be uh, difficult to use. So I generally recommend switching to Linux or Mac uh, if you have a chance. And well, Pretty much any computer can run Mac. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, can run Linux. So there is very few excuses there. So all right, let's go ahead and uh, on Mac let's create that key, and the process will be very similar on Linux. So first, um, we're gonna go to uh, our terminal, and pretty much anywhere you just uh, type ssh uh, key again. All right, so it will ask us where to put it, and we just press enter because we want the default uh, location and it will ask me if I want to override mine because I already created one so I just say yes and then ask me for the fast uh, passphrase so the password you don't really need to put the password if you don't share your computer maybe it's not your work computer it's your personal computer uh, and you don't need to secure like secure it further uh, then you don't even need a password uh, so you can simply press enter enter and there you go our code is generated into this uh, folder here all right so Mac gives us very nice command that we can use to copy this to our clipboard uh, and it basically goes like this oh, sorry just let me go to my notes yeah so it's um, pb copy and then less than sign um, till the slash. So this is for our home directory, as where our SSH folder is. I D R S A P U B. Enter. Okay, it's our in our clipboard, so we can now paste it somewhere. So let's go to the Bitbucket. Okay, I already went open the my account. So go ahead and register your account. And after you're done with it uh, go and manage your account uh, there is an option here called ssh keys click on that one and we're gonna create a new uh, so i'm gonna i'm gonna sorry i'm gonna delete this one okay because this is something i've created just just a minute ago i'm gonna create new key so first we need to call you know which computer we using so some sometimes some way that we know uh, where is this key coming from so I say uh, MacBook yeah. MacBook Air uh, and I just simply command and V just paste it uh, and I press add key <coughs> all right it's gonna take a second yeah it should be that's it so now Bitbucket if it gets request with this key and my machine will send that request with this key will automatically recognize it's me 
I don't need to log in, I don't need to type my password, email, nothing, just this. All right, so we registered, uh, and we're gonna do the same thing on Heroku, by the way. Uh, and Heroku is the hosting uh, platform. Um, so right now, uh, all we need to do is to create that remote repository. So we're gonna hit this button, create on top. Uh, we're gonna give our repository a name. So I say, this is Rails demo application and I'm gonna select language because it will give me a nice icon say Ruby and press enter or create repository so Bitbucket is kind and it gives us some more further instructions uh, if I'm uh, starting from scratch uh, and I'm starting with an existing project and I'm starting with an existing project so first what we need to do is of course CD into our project so let me go ahead and cd into documents. Oh, sorry, it has to be tilde slash like this if I'm not in the right um, projects. And uh, there is Rails. Sorry. I think that's how I called it. Okay. Now we're in the right folder and all we need to do is to add this git account as a remote repository so I'm gonna co copy this line and paste it here press enter and now it's added to my remote repositories so I can I can have a look so git remote V it will list our repository so there is two addresses here and both go to the same uh, and basically they're our origin or that's how it's called origin uh, repository so the the other line just copy here onto here so this everything after this hash symbol is comment so it's not gonna count so I'm just copy this part here and paste it here and press enter it may take a second or two uh, but it because our project is fairly small now it shouldn't take uh, a long time all right there we go uh, we just pushed our repository to uh, bitbucket if you want to see we can go back here and just click on the bitbucket logo and on top we should see our new repository you can click on that and we can see the source awesome this is our application the same application that we're working on um yeah that was easy wasn't it um all right thank you very much and i see you in the next video